hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks hey y'all i'm so excited that you guys decided to go ahead and click on this video because i'm trying a new combo today that i feel like is gonna work in my head but i'm also using a rinse out conditioner that i feel like will work better as a leave-in conditioner so I'm doing a little bit of experiment in today and I'm happy to bring y'all along. So first things first, hey, my name is Mink. I do natural hair, lifestyle, book and beauty content. So if you're interested in any of those things, of course, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, go ahead and join our Kiki Crew fam. Leave me a comment down below so that I could personally welcome you here, okay? So listen, before we go ahead and get into this video, y'all, I think I might have a rash under my arms. Or like a chemical burn or something. I don't know. I haven't used no new deodorant. I did wax my underarms yesterday. But I really don't think that that was it. I think it just enhanced what was already happening. So um, underarms are a little sore. So I'm moving a little slow. Okay. But anyway. I did go ahead and shampoo and deep condition my hair today. Um, I was just using some products up. So I went ahead and did that. If you're curious about wash day products, I will link them up above. I have a whole monthly natural hair care routine that I follow. So it's up in, it's up in that video, okay? So what we're going ahead and getting into today is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea and Koopa Wasu Frizz Defense Conditioner. And I did a whole wash day with the shampoo and conditioner from this line. And then I did a separate video with the deep conditioner. But for me, I think that the conditioner will work a lot better as a leave-in. And then y'all, for whatever reason, I feel like this combo between the two of these with the Trey Lux Smooth and Restore Curl Defining Mousse, I don't know. In my mind, I just feel like these two are going to work very well together. So that is what the products are looking like. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out. Now I will say my hair has just been kind of air drying for about 15 or so minutes. So on the top, it is definitely 100% dry. Not 100%, y'all know um, I'm dramatic, but I did go ahead and already section my hair in a part that seems to be relatively straight, y'all. Y'all know that me and parts do not get along at all. So this is what my hair looks like after letting it dry down for about 20 minutes. And I will say that my hair does still have some definition in some places, um, but for the most part, it's frizzed out to be expected. But my hair does feel very, very soft and it does feel moisturized. So I'm just going to go ahead and section my hair into my four sections like I typically do. And we're going to apply this conditioner as a leave-in together. Okay, y'all. So I went ahead and sectioned my hair, applied my oil um, like I usually do. I'm currently using the Baskin Bloom Herbal Hair and Scalp Herbal Infused Hair and Scalp Oil. So this is the one I'm using. It's about halfway gone. Um, it feels lightweight on the scalp, but it does keep my hair pretty moisturized, so we love to see that. So I kept my hair in these four sections for when I'm applying the leave-in, but when I'm going to style my hair, I'm just going to make that back quadrant just two. So I will have two in the front and then just one big section in the back so that I could just do my braid out in the back because I'm doing a braid out today. So like I said, for my leave-in, I'm going ahead in with the Raw Shea and Kupawasu First Defense Conditioner. This is discontinued from Shea Moisture. We already know Shea Moisture comes out with stuff, gets rid of stuff, you know, all of the things. I haven't seen this in years. Um, and it's been in my stash unopened, so I finally got around to cracking it open. And I did think that this, these products from this collection were going to be more moisturizing than I thought. The shampoo was a little clarifying, which threw me off guard. I thought it was going to be moisturizing. Chad, that was probably just off of the packaging, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know. And when I think Frizz Defense, I think of moisture. Um, I don't know. That's just what I was thinking, but I was wrong. So, um, this wasn't a bad rinse out conditioner, but I just think that it'll perform a lot better as a leave-in conditioner. So, with this collection, if you saw that video, the products have a lot thinner consistency than a lot of other Shea Moisture lines that are very super thick and dense and buttery and all of those things. So, since my hair is, um more on the dry side i am going to split my section in half and i'm going to get my hair wet y'all know i like to style my hair on pretty wet hair but i also want to go in with a detangling tool today um this is i think it's called like a wonder brush it's not the felicia leatherwood one my mom bought this for me years and years and years ago but it works so so well and it does get through my tangles and stuff but i don't know i just feel like i had a good bit of shed hair today so i just want to make sure all of that is gone especially before i go ahead and put my hair in these braids because i'll probably have them in for a couple days 
So like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and get my hair pretty wet and then we'll read the directions on the Shea Moisture Conditioner. Alright, so y'all can see my hair is pretty wet. It's not soaking wet, but it's definitely strongly damp. <laughs> Um, y'all can obviously see the difference in textures. I had somebody randomly comment like, oh, are you going to cut off your damage? And y'all, I don't have any damage for the people who are new here. I just have a lot of different, um, like curl patterns in my hair. My hair has been like this since I went natural. So y'all can see I have really tight and, um, like kinkier coily sections. And then in this back section, I have a lot looser sections. I have a little patch in the back that is just looser. And then this section up in the front is looser too. So we're going to go ahead and with this conditioner, it says that it is going to soften and detangle thick wavy hair. It is 13 ounces like the typical of these Shea Moisture type jars. And it says the Amazonian Kupawasu Butter Certified Organic Raw Shea Butter Pastora flour and pistachio oils blend together in a conditioning formula that softens and detangles thick and wavy protein sensitive hair. I don't necessarily feel like my hair is protein sensitive. I like protein, but um, okay. It smooths and shields humidity prone hair against weather conditions and pollution that may cause frizzy flyaways and poofing. And that's why I thought this might work better as a leave-in because I don't know how much that's really going to happen if I use it as a rinse out conditioner before I go in with my deep conditioner. So on the directions, it says apply to clean wet hair, gently comb hair through from root to tip. Um, use leave on for up to three minutes rinse style with our frizz defense cream blah 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 now I have used Shea Moisture conditioners as leave-ins before and I really do like them the favorite um, one that I have used is the coconut and hibiscus conditioner that's a rinse out but it works so so well as a leave-in to me so I'm gonna try it with any other Shea Moisture one that I don't feel like is is hitting the most with a as a rinse out so as for ingredients, the first one is water, shea butter, satira alcohol, um, coconut oil, glycerol, sterate, um, there's essential oils. The pistachio is definitely towards the bottom. The pistachio is definitely towards the bottom, like four for fifth on the bottom. So since we just did all that talking chat, I'm going to add some more water to my hair. And in that video where I did the wash day, I could not get this pump to work, child. And when you're in the shower and your hands are wet, sometimes it just don't be working out for you. So after I was, um, you know, done filming that video and everything, I went back to the bottle to see if I could get it open. And of course I could. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and took four pumps of the leave-in conditioner, and I took four because, again, this is a rinse-out conditioner that I'm using as a leave-in, so it had some slip, but it wasn't anything, like, super, super crazy. What I will say about this line, these smell so freaking good, y'all. Like, they smell clean, but, like, uh, I don't know, and I wanted to pull them out because, I don't know, in my mind, they give summertime. Now, I may be kind of crazy, but the line just smells so, so, so stinking good. I wish Shea Moisture kept at least the body products from this collection because that body lotion smelled good. So, I'm um, just going in with that little bit. I think I'm going to get a little bit more and wet my hair down a little more. I'm not going to super soak my hair today just because, you all know, it's warming up. So, my hair is going to dry pretty quickly anyway. But I do want my hair wet, um, especially while I'm putting in my leave-in conditioner so that it can soak up all the nutrients it can. But so far, so good. It feels like I'm applying a conditioner. Really, this is going to come in... A couple days from now and I'll have to see where the moisture stands but so far applying it it feels like a conditioner like I expected it to and y'all can see that there is sitting on my hair a bit but it is also defining my curls a good bit and that I love to see and I decided to go in with the Trey Lux mousse because I really really like the application of that mousse I thought it applied very very well first of all but the mousse was also super super moisturizing so even if I feel like the leave-in conditioner didn't hold up the way that I really wanted it to I think that I can rely on that mousse and I have only tried it with the um, untied or not leave-in so I really want to begin to like dibble and dabble with other things but I don't think that this Trey Lux mousse is going to be hard to mix and match with it doesn't give me like finicky 
but yeah y'all so this is what my hair is looking like after applying that conditioner and i'm not going to detangle yet i'm going to detangle before i go ahead and put the foam in so what i'm going to do now is i'm literally going to apply the leave-in conditioner or the, the rinse out conditioner <laughs> i'm going to just um apply it to my hair and i'm going to let it sit and then i'm going to come back so when i come back we will go ahead and apply our mousse and detangle together but so far so good like it feels pretty good but it feels like a conditioner would so i can't really say it has anything special to it but i do like it i think it works pretty well so far now like i said it's not that it was a bad rinse out conditioner because i didn't think it was terrible but i just look for a little bit more in my rinse out conditioners like the slip was okay but i would have had to use a lot of products speaking of which i didn't show y'all where i'm starting from Hopefully you guys can see this, but from one use of the conditioner, I ended up about right here, which again, wasn't terrible, but I don't know. I just felt like it would work a little bit better as a leave-in. I used about five pumps on this section, so mm, that's still a good bit of product, but I don't know. It may work better as a leave-in. That's, that's my theory in my mind, y'all. okay you guys so i'm back as you guys can see and i have the leave-in or i'm sorry the conditioner all applied and let me tell y'all like this so much better is a leave-in conditioner um i'm about maybe about right here before the product settles so i didn't have to use a ton even though i felt like i was using a lot but in reality i guess it really wasn't per um section that i did i used three to five pumps so nothing crazy um, but I really do like the way that this felt going on. So my hair wasn't soaking soaking wet. I feel like I would have used less if my hair was soaking soaking wet, but it wasn't. And even still, I feel like I didn't have to use a lot. Um, as far as detangling, do I feel like it detangles? I mean, I guess somewhat, but I will 100% say that after you let it sit for a while, my hair does feel very, very soft. And I don't necessarily feel like I got the maximum amount of benefits using it as a rinse out conditioner in the shower. So I will have to say that I do enjoy the way it feels as a leave-in and um, I probably will use it up as a leave-in conditioner. I can tell y'all that low-key right now. So my hair does feel really, really good. Now as for moisture, I'm not expecting anything crazy because at the end of the day, this is a rinse out conditioner. So I'm not expecting it to have maximum moisture for something that is actually formulated to be left in my hair. However, paired it with a moisturizing styler, absolutely. So I feel like my hair feels very, very soft. It does have some definition. There's a bit of leftover conditioner left over, but I literally just went around my head and that was it. So I didn't let it sit at all. It probably would sink in if I let it sit, but so far so good, not mad at all. And you guys see that my hair has a good bit of volume, which is something that I am looking forward to, especially since I'm using a mousse. Y'all see my parts are off. My chat, my parts are always off. Literally always. Um, but with like a braid out, it honestly doesn't matter that that much. Um, but yeah, so since my hair has that volume, I expect my hair to be on the voluminous side, which is what I love to see. Y'all know that since I work from home, my hair is typically left in braids. Um, usually like almost all week, unless I have things to do in the middle of the week and that's just because if my hair doesn't need to be taken out like i'm not gonna take it out so when i do take it out i like for my hair to be big on day one of course so this is what my hair is looking like in those back sections and as far as like definition as far as frizz defense is it any less frizzy than my hair is on a normal day no if anything it's probably a little bit more frizzy to be honest with you um but i don't I don't necessarily believe claims like that so i'm keeping it simple today and i'm just going to split this back section that i have here i'm going to split it into two and then the row above this i'll split it into three so i can get rid of that awkward middle part in the back of my head but that's how i'm going to do my sections today so it'll be a chunkier braid out and then y'all like i said i am going in with the tray Lux soothe and restore mousse and like i said i feel like with a leave-in conditioner like this i want to use it with something moisturizing and i absolutely can say that with this mousse 
loose it felt so so like smooth going on and just a lot of moisture it does claim to have definition volume and hold and I do remember getting actually all of those things now was it hold that was going to keep me all week no because at the end of the day this is a mousse but for the time that I have my hair out three or four days it did what it needed to do and my hair was moisturized enough when I left my hair in those braids that I didn't feel like I needed to restyle or re-moisturize by the time I took my braids out so I will link my um, Trey Lux review up above but I'm going to go ahead and read the directions on this and we're just going to get straight into it so it says to cleanse and condition your hair and scalp, which I've already done. While hair is still wet, apply two to three pumps of soothe and restore curl defining mousse to your hands. Distribute evenly from roots to ends. Allow curls to air dry or diffuse. So it's simple, short and sweet um, directions. Y'all, I haven't used much of this product at all either. I'm just about still at the top here. So I'm excited to see how this combo works together. It was one of them things that hit me in the middle of the night. I was like, oh. I think those will go really really well together so I'm holding out to it I'm gonna go ahead and like I said just spray my hair down because I do want it to tangle before I put my mousse on so again y'all I didn't get my hair soaking soaking wet but I got my hair wet enough where I'm gonna put a brush to my hair so I want it to be like lubricated enough that it's not getting just snagged in there you know but just with the leave-in alone, this is what my hair is looking like. And like I said, what I feel on my hands, I feel moisture for sure. But what I feel is the softness that's on my hair. And again, just detangling from the bottom up. Y'all already know the drill here. And it's definitely not hard to detangle. Um, not at all. Like it's getting some resistance, but... The brush for the most part is working its way through and we love to see that because I'm keeping this in real time so y'all will see exactly how long it took me to detangle and y'all that's it and this is what my hair looks like detangled I swear this is why I don't detangle because girl what is this frizz ball like now just take away all my definition so letting this, um, after I detangle and letting it dry down a little bit, it's definitely not the moisturizing, most moisturizing conditioner I've ever tried. But again, that's okay as long as I'm able to go in with a styler on top that does have moisture. Especially now that we're going into the summer months because, you know, a lot of us are styling our hair a little bit more frequently or restyling midweek um, and just doing that type of stuff. So in order to use it up, I like it better as a leave-in. I probably won't ever take that back in the shower with me. So I did go ahead and pump out two pumps. It's like a pump and a half of mousse. I don't like to use too, too much mousse because it just be getting everywhere, child. But since my hair is drier, interesting, I could use some more mousse. So I just grabbed one more pump and y'all can see the mousse is getting in there. And I love that I'm able to run my fingers through my hair. Love that. Y'all know I don't detangle every wash day child, or even really once a month so I love when I'm able to do this all right y'all so this is what my hair looks like with the mousse and it's definitely defined but per usual there's a good bit of frizz too so I don't know that I would try this as like a wash and go combination but as a hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on what is that down there hold on I know you see it Child, anyway, like I said, <laughs> I'm doing a braid out today, so that's all I'm going. Okay, okay, this one just wants to show off. Like, she just wants to show off. Has it clumped? But I'm going ahead and I'm just going to do my braid out. No. Hey you guys, so I am back. Today is actually Thursday, and I did my hair on Sunday. So I did take my hair out of the braids, tweeds. Yeah, I did tweeds. I took my hair out of the tweeds yesterday and y'all i found my first gray hair so this is what my hair is looking like like i said i took them out yesterday and what i did to preserve the style i literally just split my hair down the middle and put a scrunchie around it and did two puffs like one on this set one on this set that's literally all i did and um i think this combo is very just okay and i'm gonna tell you why so 
on camera i think that my hair looks okay um i do have some errands to run i'm gonna wear my hair out is it something that i'm like wowed by is it a combo i would do again no it's not um so i will say my hair feels really really good i can feel the moisture on my hands not in a greasy type of sense but like i could feel it on my hands so my hair is super super moisturized you guys can see up here in the body i have a good bit of definition however down at the ends y'all my hair is not having it like not having it at all um it has that like cotton ball-y type of feeling and it just Mm -mm. and actually i'm not gonna blame it just on this product combination i've never tried the combo before so it may be that but i also did use a brush to detangle and you guys know that i hardly ever detangle my hair in general with like <laughs> detangling tools but like especially before styling and i think that might have created the like bushy ends type of situation and mm -mm, we're not going back to that i dealt with that early on in my natural hair life and we're not going back so i think it's that i think that this combination mm, um, i think that maybe the mousse and leave-in together is just too moisturizing and my hair needed it needed some security and then i'm just not a fan of middle parts i don't like the way my hair falls with middle parts it leaves me with this like little house shape type of situation and i personally am not a fan however we're going to talk about the products because i do enjoy actually both of the products separately just not together first i use the shea moisture raw shea and kupa wasu for his defense conditioner and you guys saw me do a wash day with this and it was a decent rinse out conditioner but this is so so much better as a leave-in i didn't have to use that that much i'm about maybe right here maybe about here so i still have a good bit left um i think that this is really so much better as a rinse out i just tend to have better experiences with shea moisture conditioners as rinse outs and since this one is also a lot thinner in consistency it really did just sink right into my hair i don't know about the detangling claim like i don't know that i feel like i was able to get like super slip and just like run my fingers through i didn't necessarily get that however my hair is definitely moisturized and it's definitely softened so i'm excited to try this one out I still think I'll get maybe three, four uses left out of this. It's a 13 ounce conditioner and I used it once in the shower and now once as a leave-in. So I think that I'll still get a good bit of uses out of it, but I'm definitely going to play around with it with some of my other maybe heavier stylers and see how it works out. And then y'all for my styler today, I use the Trey Lux Smooth and Restore Curl Defining Mousse. And this mousse claims to have definition, volume, and hold and again this is my second time using this one as well and i'm about here on the bottle hopefully y'all are able to see that like so i would say maybe about maybe i'm a four foot away through the bottle and that's after two uses so it's decent um this is a 7.1 ounce container um so it's not the full like typical eight ounces so maybe that's part of it i don't know i really do like the way this mousse goes on it feels very like soft and like pillowy and smooth and just very very moisturized and i do really like my experiences that i've had with the mousse however i have had two fails with the mousse i will say that when i tried this with the matching leave-in i just didn't like the style that i did and then this time my ends are just too bushy like i wish that y'all could like reach through the screen and feel my ends now again, I'm not putting that on this mousse because I hardly ever detangle and I really do feel like that played a huge component, which I know a lot of people do detangle before they do, but that's why you got to do what's best for you and your hair because me personally, it's not giving what it's supposed to, but overall i do like the way these products felt together but i don't necessarily like the way that they um like the style i don't necessarily like the style i've just had better tweed outs before i like both of the products i'm gonna use them both up i just will try them with just def different things like i don't think that these two are meant to be paired together but i am glad that i tried it so now i can mark it off my list but yeah you guys let me know what you think down below y'all know i've been trying to come on here and give you guys some more of my um styling combos i do a lot of like wash days and um deep conditioner reviews and like hair routines and stuff and i've gotten some questions about my styling products and how i've been working through my stash and y'all know i'm a mix it up type of girl so yeah i hope that you guys are enjoying 
the styling content but yeah y'all that is the end of this video let me know if you have tried either the shea moisture conditioner which i know is discontinued and it has been for a while child but also let me know if you have tried the trey Lux mousse because i i love the way the mousse feels like i love the way the mousse feels but yeah y'all i love you guys so so much and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye